Welcome back to the Solutions Math 1. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-58 from RC Propeller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to express each of the three forces acting on the bracket in Cartesian vector form with respect to the x and y axes. To determine the magnitude and direction theta of F1 so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x dash axis and has a magnitude of 600 newtons. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to write all the forces in terms of Cartesian vector form. So for F1, I have two components, one vertical component and one horizontal component. This angle right here is also theta because it is alternate to that angle right here. So F1 in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written as F1 cos theta i component plus F1 sin theta j component. And for F2, F2 could be written as, since F2 is only directed along the positive x-axis, so it, it has only one component, that is 350i. Now for F3 poles, F3 force also has only one component, that is the vertical component, and it is directed in the negative sense of the positive y axis. So it is negative 100 j. Now we have expressed all the forces in terms of Cartesian vector form. Now we have to find the magnitude and direction theta of F1. For that, let us mark the resultant force. Now resultant is directed along the x dash axis like this. This is fr. Now this fr has two components. One vertical component. and one horizontal component. Now the force F could also be expressed in terms of Cartesian vector form. For FR, we have FR is equals to FR cos 30 I plus FR sin 30 J And we know that FR is equals to 600 newtons. The FR in terms of Cartesian vector form is 519.62 I plus 300 J. Find the magnitude of F1 force. We can apply the equations of the equilibrium, which is sum of the forces in x direction is equals to F bar x, which in terms is equals to F1 cos theta plus 350 is equals to. 5.9.62. Now this equation in terms could be written as F1 cos theta is equals to 169.62. Now this is our equation 1. We 
have another equation which is sum of the forces in y direction is equal to f r y is equal to f1 sin theta plus negative 100 is equal to 300. So from here this equation becomes f1 sin theta is equal to 400. Now this is our equation 2. Now divide equation 2 by equation 1. So we have f1 sin theta divided by f1 cos theta is equals to 400 over 169.62. This becomes f1 gets cancelled out. We have 10 theta is equals to 400 over 169.62. So from here theta is equals to 67.02 degrees. Now this is our first answer. For F1 put theta is equals to 67.02 degrees in either equation 1 or 2. So let us consider the equation 2. This equation. From here we have F1 is equals to 400 over sine 67.02. So from here we have F1 is equals to 434.48 newtons. Now this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.